goal is basically to democratize access to this high fidelity genomic data, accelerate cancer diagnosis, treatment, prevention tools, all of the stuff that we want without actually compromising patient confidentiality. The idea being if you can provide this sort of substrate of the data set, a variety of research teams and institutions can do of work towards solving the problem uh, without running, you know, into in, all in of the regulations, regulation right? issues, which are there for a good reason, which are there for a good right? reason. Toronto is a great city and the University of Toronto is a great Phenom university, Phenom research institution, phenomenal institution. And we're going to start off with with a story out of the University of Toronto, yes. which is this new study about how AI generated genomes promise to advance sort of precision cancer detection. Yes. Uh, we cannot avoid AI. It's, it's just pre it's becoming much more prevalent. And it's interesting because a lot of times people think of generative AI as, oh, let me create an image about, yeah. you know. Or me, chat GPT. Or right? chat the GPT. The G in GPT is generative. generative. Uh, and so a lot of people think of the consumer use cases. But in sort of this early, re early stage research arenas, there are some interesting things happening this being one of them. Yeah. So, so how exactly are the researchers at the University of Toronto using generative AI for this detection process? Right. Well, the problem is precision oncology, okay? Mm -hmm. It needs a lot of large genomic data sets. Yep. But we also want to preserve the privacy of the individuals that are donating that data set, right? And so this creates a kind of bottleneck between the research and tool development for if we want to look at a genome, let's say, of a patient and try to figure out what is the specific cancer that this person has and how can we better mitigate that? What are the kinds of drugs that we need to actually do this? In order to actually train a model to do that job, we need a lot of data. Mm -hmm. But the data has to be, you know, without all of these privacy bottlenecks. The, the sort of uh, personal identifiable information. Exactly, yeah. And that's what's tough, okay? And this Oncogan, which is a generative AI pipeline, it was published in, um, I believe, Cell Genomics. Cell yes. Genomics. Cell Genomics, yes. Oncogan. Yes. It creates a highly realistic synthetic cancer genome just completely within the computer, okay? And it bypasses these privacy issues. That's actually really interesting, okay. Right? And the key feature is it mimics all of these comp like computational complex mutational landscapes that are characteristic of cancers, but it doesn't tie that data with the patient. With an individual. Okay? Yeah. And